for cultural difference, I uh, cultural difference. I think like it's it's like it's it's for me. It's like I don't know like. I don't know how, because like I know uh, uh, when the Americans say hi to each other, mm -hmm. like if you're really, really close friend, you guys will hug each other, like for a long time, they'll say something like that. Mm -hmm. But I don't know like how to differentiate between whether I should hug that person when I mm -hmm. met my her or him, or I should just shake hands or just say hi, you know? There's not too much of a difference. Um, I, I think this is, this can be said not only about case, but just like American culture in general. Um, the the idea of personal space um, in Ghana, like no one knows what personal space is. Like, you know, you can have a conversation and be right in someone's personal space, and no one really cares. Whereas here, it was kind of something that I had to kind of monitor in my head, knowing, you know, I was I was well aware that American culture respects personal space, so I kind of had to make sure to always keep that in mind um, whenever I was here. And I mean, now it's you know, it, I've I've come to understand. Okay, personal space, I respect everyone's personal space. But before I was. You know, I used to be in, in people's personal space a lot, so... Yeah, um, alright, so even though I'm really used to the American culture and, you know, even though I'm used to, like, having other, um, students who come from other countries, other parts of the U.S. around me, um, still really, like, getting to know other people's culture as well because I feel like there's really no definition for American culture and um, I found like American culture changes all over the place that I've been to. So I just came to the conclusion that there's really no American culture. You know, it's just so diverse. And I'm like, I think that sometimes I feel that I came from, you know, a town that everyone looked like me. Everyone did the same stuff that I did. I grew up in a family, who, you know, um, that like everyone just was so much like me um, and still like even though I have four years at the boarding school at case um, just like seeing other people you know and really understand where they come from um, has been really hard because sometimes you know you know that you know some topics might be sen sensitive and sometimes you know that um, you know um, some things that you know they would want to share with you and I mean I'm just I try to be mindful a lot, um, but I think that's that's a challenge because, um, I mean, it would possibly be much, much better if I knew other Vietnamese students at case, but um, I think like, I'm pretty much the one of like, on like the minority, um, so it's really hard to like seek out and really understand the majority. Um, so, yeah. It's uh, the children moving out from, a pa from their parents' house. So basically, in my country, children, the kids are like they are supposed to stay with their parents. <laughs> so here, like, they, they have to go away. I did my research paper for my sages on that thing. How, how the Asians and Americans, how what do they think about the Asian culture and the American culture? So. <laughs>Pretty much for, for undergrad, um, it's, it's coming from my parents. Um, as, as I said, international students don't have the opportunity to get scholarships as of now. Um, so a lot of it is from the family. Um, at least in, in general, too, a lot of like West African culture, it's a lot of emphasis on education. So parents will, will go out their way to help their students get through at least the undergraduate process. And after that, it's kind of your own deal. So for med school, it will be my own going out, getting private loans. Um, hopefully, with a mix of private loans and potentially scholarships, then I'll further my rest the rest of my education. I'm actually the first one in my family to go abroad and study, so it's a lot of financial support from the whole family, from like my grandpa to like my uncles and aunts and to my parents. So it was it's not just my parents, and it's it's. It's been working out, but I think if I'm thinking about grad school, it's going to be hard. 